What's up, Africa? Welcome to another refreshing episode of The Chat right here on HFTV. You know how we do it, keeping it 100 every other day. Now, today I'm talking to someone that I've actually been wanting to talk to him, but he's kind of always busy, which is okay. It's good for the industry. It's good for his career. But today I am so happy that I got the opportunity to catch him on one of his free days. I'm talking to the one who's young and getting it, and I'm hoping he's going to be getting it for a long time. Let's go for a quick break when we come back to chat to him. Welcome back with you right here on the chat and today I'm talking to the young man. He looks really young, right? And he's tiny, actually, just in case you're not seeing him or you haven't seen him in real life. He's actually very tiny. Hi, Lil Cash, how are you? I'm fine, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Handshake, this is the first time this happened. Hello. Are you good, though? I'm fine, thank you. You're very calm. I know. Music is different from you. I know, though. I know. Right? This is the real personality. Oh, this is the real personality. But when it I comes like to the music, I know there are more of energy I need to bring into it. Can we turn this into your music video, please? Hello. So <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, now ginger, we good, we good. It was popping, my people. You should boil you catch, aka Mr. Miyagi. Mm -hmm. We're chilling. Now you know. you're talking. So mm -hmm. we don't look at you like Lil Cash anymore. You're an owner of a record level. You're like a boss right now. And but you know, like Lil Cash is the brand. Lil Cash is the brand. He's actually a brand, you know. So it is still Lil Cash. It's even when Lil I Cash. have, I have twenty record labels it's or still even. Be Lil Cash. I mean, it's Lil Cash. It doesn't matter. That's great. Keep it real. We keep it a hundred every other time. Always. This car on your face. What happened? I fell. I was quite young. I was quite rough. I was. I mean, one hundred percent a rough player when I was young. I was very very rough. So there was this time I was jumping gutters just for fun then i slipped hit my head on a pavement so oh, i did wow. that was i got that car it was stitched oh wow uh -huh. i've seen it a lot in pictures let's talk about your music how has it been for you so far this time it's been two years since you've been signed and you're moving on to other things how has the music industry been for you thus far i think it's been great it's been the journey so far has been great i mean the growth as well is 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 marvelous I mean, within the space of two years, I'm, I've been able to drop my debut album. You know, I mean, I have a couple of hits to my to my name. You think um, I'm doing very good for myself in the industry at the moment. And I mean, I just started. I just started a new journey because um, my contract ended. You dig, um, so I had to move on and float my own, yeah, my own label. You dig. Wow. It's just, it's just YBNL's legacy. Everybody that goes under YBNL, by God's grace, at some point you're strong enough to stand on your own, That's and you've got all the support you need from. The um, kind of music you do, brother, at some point we're beginning to feel like you sound a lot like Olamide. Was mm. it too much influence as him being your boss, or is it just that you guys have the same style? Like I said, and um, my music and. Um, my environment inspires it. The, the things I hear, the energy I get around me, the kind of vibes, my friends, the people I chill with. I chill with Olamide and the rest of the crew. And our music honestly comes from our environment. Wow. So there is that vibe around us. At times, we probably... But then, the good thing is, I barely hear people say we sound... People be like, we sound alike, but it wasn't really an issue to any of them because okay. they felt that this is the vibe around YBNL, guys. Right. We make music for my environment, so that is why our environment is, where, is like... That's why you can sense the... I'll just say it's some sort of connection. It's not really sounding alike because I've always sounded like this all my life. That's amazing. That's great. Congratulations. Thank you. you. On your not gotten award. <laughs> on my... Not gotten award. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know that's a, an old story, mm. but are you, have, you, have, have you like gotten over it, over it? You're looking at new things. Like I've been it. getting some new kind of award this year. Like I bought my, myself a car. That's one award. That's an I mean, award, guys. That when I'm old, I'll be like, yo, when you were... 22 did you buy yourself a, a fast car yeah so that's that's an award that's something i want to tell my kids when i grow up that's amazing that's that great. this is how young your father was when he was when he was doing good for himself so some awards are coming in more awards to come in this year yeah. <laughs> so we pray so mm -hmm. let's talk about yagi mm -hmm. young and getting it young and getting it why yagi? why young and getting it Oh please spare me that. You okay, get now it. I look at it. No, no, I do not get it. This is this is okay, young, young and getting it. This is getting it. So is it getting it or getting it? Mm, I know of this getting it, but what is the other getting it you're talking well, I'm about? I'm gonna break that down for you. 
I leave it to your imagination. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> You don't okay, imagine cool. my imagination. Um, okay, um, Olamide had an album, YBNL, and he named his label after that. Yeah. YBNL, are you like copying his footsteps or was this your own thing? The moment I decided to name my album Yagi, Yagi. It was the same moment I decided you that's gonna be a record label name. Yeah. It just came to me. Well, just like yeah. that. I mean I mean what's the what's the point? Yagi is blown already. So it should be Yagi. Why Yagi. what's the how's, point of trying to push the album doing? Great, great man. For a debut album I'm bowling. <laughs> <laughs> Man, for that a debut so album, great. I'm bowling. So what makes great. you feel so comfortable that you can start your own label? Because I, at some point, I sat down and I asked myself, um, if I was ever going to renew a contract, I definitely would renew with YBNL. That's but if I am not renewing my contract, what other record label in Nigeria can possibly have a undo a new cash? And then I thought, what does this record label want? There's no label in Nigeria that can handle yeah? Lucas. Hell no, man. I'm, that's what I'm saying. He did like. I mean, I asked myself, what does this record label want to do for me that I cannot do for myself? Lucas as a brand, my songs are enjoying good airplay. I don't need no label to help me to go distribute my songs. I do. I distribute it myself. I mean, I've got the money to shoot my own videos. I mean, um, I've he's got the money. I mean, I'm, I've got the money to sponsor my own photo shoots. Um, I've got my studio where I record. Um, I've got my record. I mean, I've got my producer. I've got my official DJ. Um, but you know, I know a couple of guys in the industry as well. So entails more than that. You need to have a, a team set up. You need to have. But the good thing, the play. good thing is, Olamide didn't bring up his artists as boys. Olamide is a boss that makes bosses. He's not the kind of boss that makes boys. He did. He didn't just sign me and make me an artist. He made me. He made me see. All the things I needed to say, so when I am on my own, I know how to undo my business. He didn't treat us as artists, he took us to the right places, make sure he connected us to the right people without even getting involved. Yo, cash, this is this, this, this is cash. So, so I mean, I have I know quite a number of the influential people in the industry. He, 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 did, he didn't just put us as artists into the industry, yeah. he put us as um. It just put us into the industry to know what it's all about. To face it and you get did. to know it. Actually, I mean, I mean, I, I have, so I have to some extent. I'm not saying I'm, I'm perfect, but to some extent, I think I have as much info as I need to run. So, a with label. that said, you means you have a structure already put in place to run Yagi as a full blown label. Um, I would leave all that to God, anyways, because trust me, no matter how much you plan, no matter how perfect you think your planning is, if it's not going to work out, it's not going to work out. All my life, it has always come down to God. The fact that my songs were hits was not because I go in the studio to make hits. I go in the studio to make songs. Then I made songs and God made them hits. So I count on God 100. That's great. So are you currently scouting artists? Um, no, I'm not. Lukesh is the only artist on that Yagi for now. And I still need to build up my brand. I mean, it's just two years in the industry. I have just one debut album. I'm not saying that matters. Trust me, even if with a single, if you can sponsor yourself, you should own your own label. I mean, but um, Liu Kesh just still needs more attention at the, at the moment. When I feel like I've gotten to that point where I am strong enough to um, put some other guys on, I okay, will. Okay, so you're just opening now. the label, so the name stands. You're the name to stands. The name. Okay, yeah, let, let's build up the name. name okay. um, so let's let's even build up Liu Kesh as a brand first. Wow. Let's keep building up. But you know, people always say it's a problem when an artist signs an artist. Um, because everybody is still trying to stay under the limelight. So, have you thought about that side of it? This the sky is too wide for all the birds to fly. They are not going to choke each other. That's one thing Alamide has taught me. Everybody can actually have their place in the industry. I mean, when it comes to indigenous music, we've got um, Olamide, we've got um, Reminis, we've got Liu Kesh. I have my own fan base. They are huge. I mean, Reminis has got a very crazy fan base that is so huge, and these are people that are ready to die for him. Olamide has got a very, very huge fan base. But they all love our music. I mean, we are still good. They would love you for a particular reason. They would love you for you. So if an artist, okay, if you say an artist signing an artist is a problem, look at Olamide and Liu Kesh. Then I think that answers your problem, question. Right? It wasn't. It That's wasn't. Great. That's I mean, amazing. That's so good. So tell me, you're still on the YBNL's management. Yeah, their management. Management. I mean, YBNL is still my management. Still your management. They manage Liu Kesh as a brand. So Olamide is still eating money off you. Not like that. Anymore. Not not in that sense. Like I said, 
contract ended doesn't mean they will stop managing me. But that, there are some other business aspects that you dig. But basically, they are still managing me. They still call the shots on who is going to do some of my distributions, who is going to still make some decisions. But the good thing is, in our own case, yeah, family is family. I've been reading on some papers, you're like, while BNL is not just white BNL to you, it's family. Yes. So I was thinking, like, how are you guys that's related? A, how that's you guys related? A, is it like street relation? You guys feel each other, there's a connection or like blood relation? I mean, we respect each other out of the fact that it's, it's one also. It is, is, is um, we, we are brothers. Yeah. I mean, it's one also, one, one family. Um, and the good thing is, what actually really made us family, honestly, is, is the way Olamide um, brought everybody up. He made sure, he brought us up as brothers to have each other's back. He made sure in a year everybody was trying to grow all together. He made us see it more than just the music and and the yo, I want to be big and all that. He made us see it as yo, family should have each other's back. That's what he did the whole time. Olami Day would always be there when you have something to complain about. No matter how busy it was, if you hit him up on WhatsApp, say, Baba, this is what's going on. And he'll tell you, okay, yo, what's up? I, this is how you should go about it. Even away from the music, I'm talking about life, life things. So that way, everybody grew, grew to, I mean, everybody grew up loving each other. We, we also ourselves as brothers. That's when what he you built it on. Olami Day, he must have really groomed you well. Um, trust me, man. He's my dad, man. <laughs> That's great. That you know when you live a particular life and you go into another one, it is the person that guides you from that very... It's just like your, your dad. When you were a baby, you didn't know nothing about the world. He brought you up. Me going into the industry was a different world for me. It was different from where when I used to be in the streets. Okay. It's a different setting on his own. So he was the one who guided me from the beginning. He's my dad. Mm -hmm. I like when you say um, the sky is very big for all birds to fly. Mm -hmm. Is that how you put it? Yes, yeah, that's it. But you know that they're not gonna, there's not going to be another Lil Kesh. There's just one Lil Kesh. Now, yes. you leaving YBNL is creating... I did not like, leave YBNL. Oh, no. Yeah. Business-wise, the, business the contract ended. We did not leave. Oh. I did not leave YBNL. The business... Can you make that a bit clear for me? Okay. The contract ended, Business... So uh, YBNL, the way it's built here, yeah, business or no business, it is a family thing. Oh. We are all brothers. So you guys are still so family? So business-wise, business-wise, as a co I mean, the contract I had with YBNL, two years that ended. ended. Okay. But I mean, family. we are still together. I will still see him this evening. We're still recording in the same studio. At times, I leave my studio to go record at the okay, YBNL great. studio. It's my own studio. That's nice. I Some mean, people feel like you guys... My point, exactly. They didn't, they didn't know how deep it was, but what, what I noticed was that most people love us together. That was when this um this controversy happened mm -hmm. that Dana realized how much people love the fact yeah, that YBNL is, is together. Like, is he gonna find out? Some people took finish? it the wrong way, some people were crying, some people yeah. were like that's when I knew how deep it was, you dig. And it's actually a family thing. I think people are just too over emotional about the whole thing, no, so they're getting the wrong like, impression. Is he gonna be able to raise another person to be like a Lil Cash? Lil Cash is still YBN. I mean, for Lil Cash to be managed by YBN and Lil Cash own Yagi Records, basically YBN is managing Yagi Records. It is like it is like a it is like a tree, man. See YBN, that's the beginning, that's the nation that we have Yagi Records. records You'll be surprised the kind of records that are coming in. I'm sure all my brothers will open their labels wow, very that's soon. Amazing. That's so great. So on your Yagi album. My, one of my favorite songs is Cause Trouble. Yep. And uh, you featured YC. And then That's the first version. First then version. the second version I featured Wale. So what would you do one song with two features? Because <laughs> I can. Naturally, because you can. But there was, was there I like mean, it's my, a it's my intellectual it? property. If I decide to put out ten versions, I can. But the actual truth was I was going to put Wale on the song event at first. I played it for him. I was like, yo, this is sick. He's going to jump on it. He likes it. But then he was busy for a while. He couldn't really get in touch with him. Then I thought, oh, okay, why not put YC on it? He's new school. He's got a different kind of vibe, a different set of um, fan base that you dig. Um, then I, I called him. He jumped on it. I dropped that version. Then Wale called me. I was like, yo, bro, I already recorded the verse. I was like, what? Send it. And when he did, I knew he couldn't go waste. I was like, why not drop two versions? Who cares? Then I dropped his own version as well. Besides, it was creating more buzz for the and album. And made the album. Okay. Yeah, they did. He had to. We don't hear a lot about you when it comes to scandals, controversy in the industry. Yeah, because... We hear about you and girls. But I know we heard a story about you and Chidi Madol. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but like um, before that, you said I don't have candles yeah, and don't. controversy. It's because. Mm -hmm. I barely go out. See, I'm in my house oh, okay, now. Yeah, I'm, I'm out when I have to be out, like probably interviews um, or probably or shows or something. When I have to be out, I mean, I have to be making money. That's but right. I'm leaving my house. Other than that, when I go to the club, I go to the bar and all that. I make sure I'm like with the rest of the team. And we are not always together because at times Alameda is in US, I'm in London, Victor is in Malaysia, Adekule is in Dubai or something. But when we now happen to be together in, the, in town, I mean, then that's when we go. But apart from that, I'm in my house, man. So when did, where did that Chidima story come from? Then? Which Chidima story? Chidima story. What did you hear? Where did you guys were like an item? That what? What exactly did you hear? That you guys were an item. Hmm? That you guys were like an item. But anybody no, can no, believe she's my G though. Home. She's you're, my she's my G. Like, did she have to come meet him at home or she's my happen? she's my is the fact that I say I'm always home doesn't mean I don't go out once in a while. I go out at times, hook up with some people, then I go out but then don't get it all wrong. Okay. Chili is my G and we yeah, good. Really. We good. Type industry. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for it's been me. like a very interesting and intriguing interview. So great. Thank you very much. I wish you the best of luck. Why? Yagi? Yag Yagi. I shouldn't get that wrong. It's like Yagi. Yeah, um, yeah. You Young much. and getting it. Young and getting it. Thank you very mm -hmm. much, Africa, for staying with us right here on the chat on HFTV. That has been the young man who's young and getting it. And he's still very young, so he's going to be getting it for a long, long time. And besides, you guys can follow me on, on Instagram. He's just selling himself on my show. Nah, I think he's just <laughs> proper. Natural, natural. So for my fans, for those that probably haven't been following up um, Liu Cash as a brand that you don't even know what's up yet, come on my my social media um instagram twitter Liu cash official all together follow me know that's what's great. up know i'm up to that's great you heard him and you can follow us at hftv on twitter on instagram and on facebook then catch us on youtube at hftv africa oh, let's shit. take it away with fabulous music this i like cause trouble made that one let me jack up on one of beef or your carry gun Cash you your excellency, too much talk unnecessary Floss a legendary, floss it a one cemetery Shot it dry, sick by me, mon dag bororu Find anybody, lodge you to back by me, Sunday dag bororu